Hey guys, Ivan here, and in this video, we're gonna be talking about the best bodybuilders in the world today who haven't turned pro yet, who are not professionals. And in this video, we're not gonna be focusing on the legends who never turned pro, like Edgar Fletcher or Matt Mandelho, Rich Piana or Dave Palombo or Michael Hearn, no. This video is about the current crop of bodybuilders, very good bodybuilders, who are looking amazing, who are looking like they are pros, but for some reason they aren't. And as you can see, I'm starting this video with this bodybuilder who just competed at the EVLS Prague Pro, where he won his division, heavyweight bodybuilding. His name is, if I'm not butchering this, uh, Vojta Trnka. So he competed at Prague Pro once again and he won his class, but in order to win a pro card, you need to be the overall winner. And he didn't win the overall because he had Nexilla, Rubial Mosquera, in the overall who won his class, also the Super Heavies. And Rubial, as you guys know, won that pro card, won the whole show. So this guy walked away without a pro card. But let me tell you, he looks probably better than the majority of the pros today, that's right. So the only reason why this guy is not a pro today is because he was unlucky. He had Rubiel Mosquera in that overall. And in my opinion, Rubiel Mosquera is potentially a top 5 Mr. Olympia competitor. So this guy definitely does have a pro physique. Actually, in my opinion, he probably has better physique than most pros. I could see this guy even beating some of the guys on the Mr. Olympia stage. With his freaking shoulders, with this conditioning, with his crazy freaking fullness and roundness and the size and everything, he was just incredible at this show. Especially those freaking shoulders, man, look at those freaking delts, what the hell is going on here? How did he create these cannonball delts? I don't know if I ever saw rounder delts than these. And also, they don't look like synthel delts. They look separated, they look dry, they look like real muscle. So they looked crazy. Now, this guy also has two major flaws. One of them is very easily fixable. He has a really bad case of gyno. He needs to go under the knife as soon as possible, get rid of it, and look presentable on stage. The other thing is his back. His back needs to be... needs to get much, much bigger. Everything else is just far superior to his back. His back is definitely way underdeveloped. It's just not matching his front portion. I don't know why is that. I don't know if somebody can really be this big and this muscular from the front and just genetically have such a weak back. I doubt that, that can be the case. I think it's mainly training. Some of it's gotta be genetic, but I think with training, with better training, he can improve that back. And once he wins a pro card, and I'm sure he will, he's gonna be a serious threat to anybody in the IBB Pro League. Alright, the next bodybuilder that I simply have to mention in this video is this so-called new Chris Bumstead. This guy is only 19 years old, he competes in classic physique, uh, his name is Anton Ratushny, he is from Ukraine, and uh, he recently competed at a classic physique show where he won both his class and the overall but I believe it was just a regional, it wasn't a pro qualifier, and soon, in two weeks from now, he's gonna be competing in another show, I believe the next show is the pro qualifier, where he might win a pro card, and I believe he will do it. Now, what is crazy, again, about this guy, is that he is so freaking young, guys, only 19 years old, can you believe it? 19 years of age and he has this kind of development aside from development he has this crazy classic shape and he's i'm telling you he's more complete than chris bumstead was when he was at his age now as far as the classic lines the classic shape the, the small waist and all that stuff he has it all he definitely has it all He's gonna mature over the years even more and just get much better, but at such a freaking young age, he already has that maturity, he has it already, I mean, look at the glutes and the hamstrings here and the lower back, like, he's already shredded. You can see all the details, you can see the maturity, but also, once he got so lean, he didn't lose the muscle, he's still big and full and round, and this guy is probably gonna turn pro in two weeks. And eventually, I can see this guy definitely dominating 
the Mr. Olympia stage. And it's definitely not a coincidence that uh, he is being called the new Chris Bumstead. As you can see in this post right here, he also has a comment from Chris Bumstead himself. He says, crazy look man, congratulations, keep chipping away slow and steady. So even Chris Bumstead himself can see that this guy is the future of this sport, of this division. As long as he stays on track and Chris's advice is to take it slow but steady. So he doesn't burn out or mess something up somehow by, by rushing things. But once again, guys, in two weeks, I'm pretty sure this guy is going to win a pro card. And maybe next or the year after, we're going to see this guy on the pro scene against the very best in the world. And even though he's only 19 or going to be 20 next year, he can climb to the very top and be one of the top classic physique guys in the world. I can definitely see that it's written all over him. The next bodybuilder, or should I say powerlifter, doesn't need an introduction. Of course, we all know that this is Larry Wills, who is once again more known for his powerlifting, that's his profession, but as of lately, he decided to try himself out in bodybuilding, actually classic physique. And he almost turned pro, he almost got his pro card. Now, what led Larry Wills to come from powerlifting and strongman into bodybuilding, actually into classic physique? He competed as a bodybuilder before, a long time ago. He didn't really try hard. He came in pretty soft. He wasn't really in condition. And he didn't do that well. I believe he was like 9th or 11th. And his physique just didn't look that good. He was not in shape. He competed in a bodybuilding division. It wasn't classic physique back then. But now, he decided to really try hard, so he was training for this show, for bodybuilding, his training style was different, I don't know exactly for how long, but his entire prep, he was just doing bodybuilding work, and as you can see, he got really shredded, and he actually ended up winning his class and the overall, so he won a classic physique show, he won the overall, which qualified him for the amateur Mr. Olympia, where he could have gotten a pro card, but unfortunately he ended up second in his class. So he didn't win his class, nor did he win the overall, but I gotta say, it was close. Like, this was like probably the toughest, one of the toughest competitions where you can turn pro. He could have done an easier show, and he probably would have won that pro card, but he decided to do this show, which is definitely much tougher. And he ended up in second, which is an amazing result. Now, if you take a look at his physique right here, it looked very good. Like, for Larry Wills, for a power lifter with so many injuries, for somebody who was really not focusing on, 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 on keeping that waist tight, who was deadlifting like a maniac, who was training for strongman and doing all kinds of crazy stuff, who looked super bloated, his stomach always looked really big. Now, he has an amazing vacuum, his waist actually looks super small. His legs were always an issue, but he improved those legs quite a bit. And with added conditioning and more details in the legs, it created a better illusion as well. His weed taper was amazing too. And not only because of the small waist, but also because of the popping lats. His arms also looked really good. So overall, this was actually a really good classic physique. I didn't really expect this from Larry Wills, but once again, he looked amazing on that stage. And he can and probably will win a pro card soon if he continues chasing it. Alright, next up we got this rising star right here, who also doesn't need an introduction, I'm sure. He is an absolute internet sensation these days and goes by the name of Sam Sulek. Now, I'm sure all of you guys are familiar with this guy. He's basically everywhere, everybody knows about him, he has millions of views on every video that he makes every single day, it's absolutely insane. Personally, I wasn't sure why he was so popular, and while I was making this video, I actually watched some of his content, like two days ago, and honestly, I got hooked. <laughs> Since that day, I probably watched like five of his videos when I'm eating my meals, I'm watching his videos, it's a really good content, so yeah, I absolutely get it now. And I've seen what this guy looks like, what kind of weights he's lifting in the gym and what he looks like when he's posing after the training sessions. And this guy also has all the tools to become a great pro. Now, why he's not a pro right now? It's because he didn't even try. He didn't compete yet. And even if he did, would he get a pro card right now? 
I don't know, it's pretty much impossible to say because I never saw this guy in the posing trunks, let alone a bodybuilding stage, he never competed so far. But here is the thing, like this guy is only 21 years old and he has been making a lot of progress in the past couple of years. If he continues at this pace, he is gonna get like really freaking huge. Now, if he competed right now, no, he couldn't win a pro card in open bodybuilding and that is a division for him. He is growing like crazy and he can grow enough to be an open bodybuilder. But is he big enough right now to compete against the top amateurs in bodybuilding categories? No, no, he is not big enough, he is not complete enough, he is not matured enough. I don't think he would win a pro card in bodybuilding, but he has enough muscle for the classic physique, that's where he could win a pro card, but I don't know if he has the right lines, the right aesthetics, the right shape, the right symmetry for classic physique. But then again, if Larry Wills managed to get so close to winning a pro card, I'm pretty sure Sam Sulek could do it as well. I don't know if he could win like an amateur Olympia, but there are definitely shows, classic physique shows, classic physique pro qualifiers that he can actually be very competitive at. Obviously, he would have to learn how to pose like a classic physique guy and he would have to get completely peeled, shredded for that stage, which I'm sure he could do. I don't know what his weight is exactly, but I'm pretty sure he would make the weight cap and if he really tried, if he really put his mind into it, I'm sure in no time this guy would be an IFBB pro in classic physique. But I have a feeling this guy is going to go for the open and we won't see him on stage in another couple of years. Maybe like two more years, three more years and he will be ready to win a pro card in open bodybuilding if that's what his aspirations are. From what I know right now, he doesn't really have any goals of competing yet, but I'm sure at some point he's going to decide to do it, and once he jumps on that stage, I'm sure he's going to make a great competitive bodybuilder, or let's say a pro bodybuilder eventually. And that would actually be all for this video, but to round it up to make it a top 5 bodybuilders who aren't pros, I added this guy, Tristan Lee. To be completely honest, I added him to this list because of his crazy popularity. His physique is very well known and I'm not gonna tell you why he's not a pro, because this guy never competed, he never really tried, he's not really on the verge of turning pro and the way he looks right now, he couldn't turn pro, but I'm gonna tell you what I think if he can ever turn pro and... Personally, I don't think it's ever gonna happen, I don't know if this guy is ever gonna try, he should try if he loves bodybuilding, if he wants to compete, he should step on that stage and just see what it feels like, but I don't think he has the right shape of the muscle bellies, he doesn't have the right proportions, and as far as the size, he is only 21, just like Sam Sulek, but he is not on that level of size yet. Maybe eventually he will grow enough to actually be the size of the average classic physique pro, but is he ever gonna turn pro with this shape, with this genetics, with this structure? I don't see it. I don't think so. And for him to grow enough to be competitive in the open bodybuilding, it's even less likely to happen, but he is having a lot of success with his social media, so he is doing well. Anyways guys, that's gonna do it for this video, this is the top 5 bodybuilders who are not pros, you guys tell me in the comment section down below whether you agree or you disagree, whatever your thoughts are, tell me in the comment section down below, like this video guys if you enjoyed it, and if you wanna see more bodybuilding content like this, subscribe to my channel guys, thank you so much for watching, see you soon, all the best and bye bye.